Hey, hothead, did you see my latest movie premiered at number one at the box office? I think I'm going to get a huge back end, which is something you should know all about. <laughs> get it? Because of your ginormous butt? <laughs> Is it in there? Yup. What are you gonna do with it? I figured I'd put it on my living room shelf, you know, as a nice reminder of our trip to hell. Seriously? No. I'm gonna use it to call the Undertaker out. I'm guessing he really wants this thing back. Why would you do that? You already beat him. But no one else knows that. If I want to earn the respect, pun intended, of the locker room and WWE universe, then I need to beat him again in front of an audience of actual living human beings. Now that I've had a week to come down off the Shango dust, I'm a little less sure about all this. So just be careful, okay? I will. And who knows, if I can lure him into a match, maybe it'll be so big my real parents will finally show up. Crazier things have happened this past week. Yeah. Maybe. Trey is in the ring with what appears to be the Undertaker's urn. I have no idea what's happening, but this should be good. You're probably wondering how I acquired this. But I'm going to save those details for some other time, mainly because you probably wouldn't believe me. But long story short, I went through hell to get it. Literally. So Undertaker, if you want a shot at taking this back, You'll have to face me at Survivor Series in a... Now come out here and accept my challenge. Come on, answer me. What's wrong? You too embarrassed to show your face after what I did to you in the plains of purgatory in front of your hordes of undead? I told you it was a crazy story. The Undertaker is here! This is unbelievable. We haven't seen the dead man in years. At Survivor Series, you will not survive. But you will. Rest in peace. Trey's name is on that tombstone. Trey looks like he might be regretting his decision to summon the Undertaker from the dark side. Nonetheless, I can't wait for Survivor Series. Me neither. It might be the last time we ever have to see Trey. Welcome to Survivor Series, where later tonight we have an epic Hell in a Cell match between Trey and the returning Undertaker. And if facing the Phenom wasn't intimidating enough, he's dead set on regaining possession of his urn that Trey somehow acquired. Well, Trey has a list that helps guide his career. Undertaker has a list, too, of superstars he's massacred in Hell in a Cell over the years. Tonight, Trey will be the latest name added to that list.
following contest is a Hell in a Cell match. Making his way to the ring from Orlando, Florida. Weighing in at 216 pounds, Zach Tyler. Two of WWE's toughest prepared to do battle here tonight inside Hell in a Cell. And guys, if you think this structure looks big on television, try sitting next to it. It is absolutely enormous. Corey, when it comes to in-your-face action, it doesn't get much better than these guys. Yeah, these guys definitely like to fight, Cole, and I fully expect them to prove that here tonight. like this. While the risk is certainly high, so is the potential upside. I know it's unlikely, but if Trey could defeat The Undertaker, that would go a long way in solidifying his status as one of the top WWE superstars in recent memory. I think there's a better chance Saxton wins Commentator of the Year. Wait, you really think I have a shot this year? No, no, I sure don't. triangle battling to get the and he escapes the submission and good thing that could have been disastrous just a step quicker oh it's locked in oh the phenom the... 
Whoa, he gets out of it. He's at another level right now, Michael. It's going for the Dragon Sleeper. Is he done? Whoa, he, he works his way out. Something big is coming. Punch right to the face. Boom, lights out. Oh, from behind. Oh, wow. Frankensteiner. Nice. Tried for it early. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Cutter never ceases to amaze me. Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. The Undertaker in a very unfair. Perfect position. Uh oh. Leg Going for Looks like the Muna lock. The bridge is in. He forces his way free. Man, he just has so much resolve. Ooh, right to the throat. Right to the kidneys from behind. Nasty combination. That's how you hurt your opponent. It is just incredible. It's electric in this arena tonight. has to be mounting as he kicks out yet again. Great agility. Undertaker is just getting the stuffing pounded out of him. This Hell in a Cell match has really chewed him up. It's time for the Undertaker to rise just one more time. the impact. As we all know, Hell in a Cell matches tend to deteriorate once the competitors leave the confines of the ring. The Undertaker is a force within the ring. He's one step ahead there. Great technique. And you know what's next, guys? Oh, spear through the cell! Now that's how you do it inside the cell. A long way up. This is where superstars become legends, Cole. He looks a little uneasy up there, guys. Wait, you be? Yeah, are you surprised? Not at all. Oh, what a right! Man, that's some attitude behind it. Trap the arm. Neck breaker. So smooth. Uh oh, it's locked in the arm bar. Oh, the phenom. The phenom is in trouble. I don't think I've ever seen the Undertaker. And he fights his way free. He's got to be working on instinct right now, Cole. Oh, what a DDT. Wow. the attack of his shoulders yet again. Man, that'll make your head hurt. Oh, 
saw it coming. Right through the top! Climbing the cell now. Well, this is a little cavalier of him, wouldn't you say? That's how he is. You better watch his balance up there. Great call, Byron. Arm drag, nicely done. Oh my God, he can't be serious here. I think he's dead serious. A power bomb! That's a human being! He's making the climb. The climb to what? Guys, he clearly has no regard for his own well-being. Well, he gave you the first hint, Byron. Oh, I don't like his chances up there, guys. Oh, neither do I. Wow, can't believe The Undertaker got out of that one. Finds a way to reverse. He caught him slipping. This could be big. He got yeah. through the roof. Oh, man. This is hard to watch. Michael, I cannot believe that just happened. Me either. I don't like the look in his eye. All the way from the top rope. Whoa, the Undertaker dodged that one. was that reversal. Hold on! Delivered with force. Time to go home. Boom! Big time driver. Turning the momentum to his favor. This is what he feeds off of. He's climbing the ropes again here. Set up for a second time. 50! Picture perfect execution. Oh man, the Undertaker's in trouble now. Two! He somehow did it! Trailers to fight all odds to defeat the Undertaker. This definitely quiets any doubts that people might have had about Trey's legitimacy. I'll admit it, I had those doubts, but what Trey did tonight was truly impressive. Maybe this guy's the real deal after all.
And that's how we opened a portal to the netherworld and summoned the Undertaker to the Earth Realm so I could defeat him and cement my Hall of Fame legacy. Uh, we're fine, thanks. I told you they wouldn't believe it. You know what? I, none of that crazy stuff ever happened. I, I mean, sure, I, I beat The Undertaker, you all witnessed that, but, but could you imagine all that other wacky stuff? <laughs> Portals and Marsh Ladies and Papa Shango? <laughs> yeah, gotcha! Joke's on you! <laughs> uh, anyway, let's get back to things that actually happened. Like when I was the longest reigning women's champion of the modern era holding the SmackDown Live Women's Championship for over two and a half years. The following contest is a tables, ladders, and chairs match and is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. This is it, guys. The title is up for grabs here. And this might be the most highly anticipated title defense in recent memory. Corey, I know you talked to those close to the champ earlier today. What are they saying about tonight's matchup? Cole, they haven't even been able to get to the champ in days. They say she's been in seclusion, getting herself mentally prepared for what's ahead of her here tonight. Some even said they've never seen her like this before. of the Raw Women's Division. up for grabs. There's been women's titles defended in the WWE as early as the very first WrestleMania in 1985. But the competition has become even more heated over the last three years as the women's revolution took WWE by storm. Such strikes. Shoulder breaker. Probably seeing double after that one. And Zagiri. To the outside. What a dive. So 
much goes into preparing for a TLC match. Corey, what is a key to victory in such a dangerous contest? This all comes down to creativity. How far can your imagination take you in launching attacks on your opponent? Anything can be used as a weapon, and when you see your opposition entangled or trapped, you must go for it all and climb the ladder. Tough situation to be in right here. Severe damage being inflicted to the back. This one's about the women's championship, and nothing means more to these women than that title. The challenger eating up some damage. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. Steps to the kidneys! She's been on the offensive for a little while now. Momentum has clearly swung her way. It's champion's advantage. The title cannot change hands by countout or disqualification. You can lose the match and still keep the championship. She returns the favor there. about to find out. Come on, pull it, pull it. Women's title up for grabs. Up, up, and away. She's got her hands on it, but can she pull it down? And Cole, a win here would be so incredibly huge. Look at this. Good night. The title's going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. Good night. Absolutely punishing. The ascent begins. Going for the win here. Getting closer. Back in the ring now. Elbow smash! No quarter being given by either competitor. You have to believe this one's going to be decided by the smallest of margins. Here we go. She now literally has this match in her hands. Here we go. to the top turnbuckle. Look at this. Tremendous impact. What a raucous crowd here tonight. I want to see that again.
We've got a climber. The only thing left to do is pull it down. Easier said than done. Might be the... The champion retains. Take a look at how the Empress was haltered tonight. And there was no question about that one. I don't know if there's anybody in the back that can actually unseat this dominant champion. Thank you for spending part of your Sunday. Our record-breaking SmackDown Live Women's Champion is ready to address the WWE Universe. Since I defeated Mickey James over two and a half years ago, I've had the privilege of defending this championship against the very best female competitors in WWE. But when you're the longest reigning women's champion in the modern era, it's only natural you start to look for new ways to challenge yourself. And considering it's a little wild west around here right now with no GM, I figured this was my chance to do that. So I thought about doing an open challenge, but that's a little played out. I could force myself to win with the four or five count, maybe, or I could do something really unprecedented and defend my title against male superstars. So what do you think? It's Becky Lynch and her savages. Uh, nothing good ever happens when they come around. Uh, it's your opinion, Saxton. Personally, I think they're one of the best things going today on SmackDown Live. Well, whether you like them or not, you can't deny the influence they have over WWE. I'm not arguing with that. Ever since Becky Lynch took control of this faction, she's pretty much been able to do whatever she wants, except for taking that SmackDown Live Women's Championship away from Red. I have a feeling that could change real soon. So you want to give yourself new challenges like five counts or facing men? Well, I have a better idea. How about you forget all that and face the man? <laughs> it's funny you still throw around that title after all these years. I mean, I'm the one who's held an actual title longer than anyone since the 1970s. So I'm pretty sure that makes me the man. <clears throat> I am the man because I'm the leader of the most powerful force this sport has ever seen. And that's when there's someone in charge. So just think of what we're capable of when no one's steering the ship. So unless you want to find out what happens when we have free reign, I suggest you give me my title match tonight. If you didn't hear me the first time, I'm looking for new challenges not rematches against played out losers I've already beat. And you and your crew trying to intimidate me isn't going to change that. Besides, everyone knows you're just all bitch and no bite. <laughs> oh, well, if you're not gonna give me a title match, then I'll just have to beat one out of you. Boys, little help. I'm going to show Red here my bite. Red is severely outnumbered here. So far, Red's holding her own. Not anymore. Becky Lynch is showing Red that she's not just all talk. 
Here comes Trey to help his best friend. I admire his courage, but Trey has no chance against these guys. It's it's four on one. I told you, Becky and her savages are one of the best parts of SmackDown Live. It's clear that unless she can somehow even up the sides, Red faces an uphill battle to hold on to her SmackDown Live Women's Championship. I think you're looking at the man who's going to end Red's record-breaking title reign. We gotta get even with Becky and her savages. How are we gonna do that? We're at a five on two disadvantage. We saw what happened out there, and we wanna help. Great. Where were you 15 minutes ago? We all had severe simultaneous leg cramp syndrome, or SSLCS. It's a real proven medical condition that can occur when superstars team as long as we have and their body's ailments become synchronized. Uh, I don't think they're buying it. Look, the truth is that we didn't want to get involved in your business. And we know sometimes certain people can be a bit stubborn about wanting to do things on their own. He's talking about you. Nah, it could be anyone. It's fine. I know I'm stubborn, but I'm not stupid. I can recognize when we need help. So we'll take it. Thank you. So do we do like a secret New Day handshake now or something? How about you two rest up and next week we'll see what we can do about Becky and her crew. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Oh, leg cramp acting up again. Uh, you, you guys feeling it too? You can stop that now. Not long after my issues with Becky Lynch heated up, SmackDown Live filled its open GM position. We were excited to see who it was. Well, until we saw who it was. Brooklyn Von Braun is the new GM of SmackDown Live. Apparently she's traded MMA and Hollywood for WWE. This is crazy. This isn't crazy. It's genius. Thank you. I'm so excited to be the new general manager of SmackTown Live. Did you just come out here, interrupt us, and say SmackTown Live? She definitely said that, and I have 2020 hearing. Uh, you're off to a good start as GM. Please continue. Knowing that I was up for this gig, I watched the show last week for the first time, and I have to say, I didn't like what I saw from you, Red. Instead of accepting Becky Lynch's challenge, you resorted to cheap insults, which led to Becky having no choice but to defend herself. So, Red, you said last week you wanted new challenges? Well, I have one for you. You're going to defend your women's championship in the first ever best out of five team match. It will be a one night series of singles matches between Red, Trey, and your buddies The New Day, taking on Becky Lynch and her savages. If Red's team wins the series, she retains her title. If Becky's team wins, she is the new SmackDown Live women's champion. She just said it again. The name of your show is SmackDown Live. Say it with me. SmackDown. Town makes more sense, but whatever. Guys, guys, we're losing track of the fact she just put us in a best out of five series for Red's title, which seems super unfair. I mean, who would do such a thing? Who? 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 Hey, I know we formed an alliance, but that's kind of our thing, okay? 
With all due respect, you're really stacking the deck against Red, so I have an idea that would help even things up a bit. You give our team home field advantage. That's right. If Red's putting her title on the line under these circumstances, then the series should take place on our turf. What kind of turf are we talking? Synthetic or natural? Because I prefer a natural tall fescue. I meant more of a New Day home arena vibe, but we could look into the fescue. I like what you're thinking, except Becky's team should have an equal opportunity to secure home field advantage. So later tonight, it will be Red and a team member of her choosing versus Becky and a partner of her choice. The winner of that match will earn home field advantage for their team in the best out of five series. Who's it gonna be, Red? Yeah. yeah. Who? 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 That was a test, and you passed. Good job. There's really not a bad choice, unlike the choice of Brooklyn as GM. Ooh. She just laid the smack town on her. <laughs> so I'm going to team with... Great decision. Ooh, I can smell the sweet aroma of tall fescue headed our way. Home it's field advantage is on the line yes, later tonight on SmackDown Live. She's obviously proud of what she's been able to accomplish over the course of her career as well she should be. I can respect that, Michael. She clearly has worked hard to get where she is, but she also has to remember that she has a long way to go. And from Orlando, Florida, Weighing in at 216 pounds, Zach Tyler. Listen to this crowd, guys. They're fired up for this one, as well as they should be. This match has instant classic written all over it. say that he's among the most prideful superstars on the roster today. Well, when you accomplish what he's been able to accomplish, Michael, you have every right to be proud of yourself.
Hey, listen, I remember when Becky Lynch first came to NXT. She had moved to Orlando, Florida to be a personal trainer. Never thought she'd get the opportunity to be part of this company. And now she's one of the premier superstars in our women's division. Threaded with much of the women's evolution. seen before. She and her partner must win this match to earn home field advantage for a best of five series between Red's team and Becky Lynch's Savages with a smack. Changes her fortune there. Defenseless in the corner now. Agility there. Ooh. Oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Scoop slam. Beautiful suplex. Squaring up with Becky Lynch is the last kicker can just as easily lock you in a submission as she can realign your spine with a suplex. That's yeah, obvious. Two. Becky Lynch's repertoire is impressive. What concerns me the most, Cole, are her vicious strikes to an opponent. I'd say they'd cross the border of the illegal. Exploder suplex. Oh. Finn Balor starting to stumble now. 
Situations like this usually don't end very pleasantly. As we mentioned, something that's become a trademark of Becky Lynch is her ability to dominate an opponent in a split second. And Corey, it's outrageous to imply that Becky breaks the rules in her matches. The first ever SmackDown Live Women's Champion wants to show that it doesn't matter who you are. When you play with straight fire, you are going to get burned. He's stalking his... Look out! On <laughs> ton bomb! Time to go home! Gotta find a way to get out of this. Boom! Big time driver! Finn Balor is simply not... To be honest, I am baffled right now. Approach here, I guess. I don't know why. He comes up short here. He looks off his game right now, Michael. Spear! Spear! Right across the face. Ah, oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Just carrying the opposition here. Oh, right in the face! This will damage her back. She's got the shoulders down. One, two. Plenty of fight left. She's a warrior, guys. All right, that well scouted. into the ring. Oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. She is just too quick. Got out of the way. Hurry. Whoa, not so fast. Over and over. The Florida King. Now with complete control. One point. What should Becky Lynch try to do differently at this stage to stay in this thing? Two. Three. Back now 
inside the ring. She's in full control now. You're an Augie! Oh, what a kick! Oh, a knee right to the face! That knee is a lethal weapon. Oh, here we go. Oh, the old whipper snapper. And Finn Balor slips out of Bob's way. Extraordinary elusivity. She wants it one more time. Wow. Corkscrew moonsault. Beautiful. Some serious heart right there, and she's still alive. Oh, left right to the liver. Boom! The Florida Keys! And on the apron. Oh, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be really bad. On the apron. The hardest part. This makes tabs all over. What a victory. SmackDown Live's new GM has put Red in a situation like we've never seen before. She and her partner must win this match to earn home field advantage for a best of five series between Red's team and Becky Lynch's Savages with the SmackDown Live Women's Championship on the line. I am still shocked that Brooklyn Von Braun is the new GM, so I can't imagine how Red and Trey must feel. They've been rivals with Brooklyn since they were teenagers. Brooklyn Von Braun is an accomplished professional. I'd be very surprised if she let an age-old high school grudge get in the way of her job as general manager. Yeah, well, I wouldn't be surprised at all. Becky Lynch may be in trouble here. Uh-oh. Phoenix oh. Splash! Oh, that was unreal. That is a great reversal. Huge toss. Dangerous position here, guys. Oh, no, 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 Back no. Suplex on the apron. The hardest part of the ring. She is just dominant right now. She has become relentless at this point. What a punch. They go. Four. Harsh impact. Five. An Six. incredible combination. What does Becky Lynch have to do at this point to stay in the match? Caught off Seven. guard. You're an Augie. She's got her. Oh, the old whipper snapper. Eight. Nine. Oh, from the top. One. Becky is showing her stuff right now, Two. big time. Not what she was looking for. Oh, able to counter. Three. Brutal knee right to the face. Four. A barrage of strikes. Endless. Becky in full control here. Nicely done with the head scissors. 
Ooh, brutal body shot. Big knee to the midsection. Things have gotten worse for Becky Lynch. She could be out of this match. I think this one's over. Going for the home run. but very effective. He might have been waiting on that one. Great reversal. I gotta say, I'm impressed. Big hook. Kick. Spinning kick to the gut. Impressive strike combination. Uh-oh. Good. Not looking good right now. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Finn Balor. Wasn't expecting that. Even know where she is. 
She is. Look at this. She better have a good reason for this. Nice monkey flip. She's taking charge here. She's executing on her plan perfectly. Catastrophic damage on the back. Shot on. Oh, what impact. Off into the pen. Two. And this mix tag's over. What a win. three count ends this one and there's your winner folks look out women's locker room this girl is for real and folks if you're just joining us i'm sorry to tell you that you just missed one of the most exciting smackdown matches in recent memory Championship is on the line in a best of five series. This looks like an arena that was designed by a four year old who's been eating too much paste. Stay classy, New Day. It's different, but I kind of like it. I have no doubt that you do. Welcome, everyone, to the best of five series for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. Where our team, as you might have noticed, has home field advantage. Do you like what we've done with the place? Tall fescue rap, it's amazing! This is the best looking setup for a show since they used to bring Mr. McMahon's home to the In Your House events. Wait, what did you just say? Yeah, yeah, you know how they used Mr. McMahon's home as the old In Your House entrance? My uncle knew a security guard who knew a janitor who knew a concession stand worker who worked at one of the arenas and he told him that it was Vince's actual house. We need to have a talk later. Guys, guys. We could continue to dilly-dally, or we could get things started with the first match. I'm normally a strong proponent of dillying and dallying, but I think we should get to some action. In that case, let's kick things off with our first contest of the evening. You're up, Kofi. It's a new day. Yes, it is. We're going to get the best of five series started with Kofi Kingston taking on the bruiser way, Pete Dunne. I doubt Pete Dunne or any of Becky Lynch's savages have ever competed in an arena like this before. Yeah, only in their worst nightmares. This place looks like New Day's storage unit threw up. And if I have to stare at these bright colors all night long, I might too. This match is huge in the sense that whoever wins will... 